Hey, this is Billy Hofacker from TrainingForMMAFitness.com. It is now Tuesday, and I hope you had an awesome Memorial Day and awesome Memorial Day weekend. Enjoying that time with the uh, family and the friends and just remembering those that have uh, sacrificed for us. Anyway, I just wanted to leave you a, a great tip that I think could really help you in your, in your training. A lot of people that are into whether it's MMA or you know jiu-jitsu, kickboxing, wrestling, judo, any of the martial arts, a lot of people are strapped for time. You know, unless you're a professional fighter, which obviously some, you know, some of you are, then uh, even then, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of different, you know, styles to train for your skill training. There's a lot of things you need to do for conditioning and supplemental training and diet and rest. And of course, if you have a full-time job and a family on top of those things, there's just a lot to balance. So I think this tip will really help you with finding that elusive balance. And what that is is the the idea that. Um, just using small chunks of time to help uh, reach your goals. In other words, author, uh, self-improvement in the business and leadership author John Maxwell calls, calls it the grab 15 principle. And what that just means is that a lot of people think that because they don't have so much time, let's say you have a family and you have a full-time job and you don't have enough time to really spend you know, three hours a day training, that doesn't mean you can't do anything. So you can grab 15 minutes every day and do something. If you do that for long enough, you're gonna become really good at it. For example, a lot of jiu-jitsu guys struggle with their stand-up game and their takedowns, so they just always train on the ground, you know, taking just 10 or 15 minutes after every class and drilling takedowns and maybe doing some live sparring uh, from the stand-up will go a long way over the course of time. Of course, it's not gonna happen overnight, but you do that for a long period of time and you're gonna get really good and you're gonna be uh, much more of a threat. And that goes with anything, you know, any little a particular thing you wanna work on. Let's say you're having trouble with your gassing out on the mat, take 10 or 15 minutes after your skill training and do a conditioning circuit. You do that once, twice a week, but consistently over time, you will see a big difference. You know, same thing with diet. You know, take 10 minutes, plan those meals. You know, any area that you need to work on, find out what that is. And just dedicate a small chunk of time each day to doing that, and before long, after you know weeks, months, and years, you, you'll be amazed how far you get with that. So give that a shot. Let me know what you think of that. Post on the blog, and uh, again, have a great week, and train hard, and train smart. Thanks so much. Talk soon.